Welcome back. For the first time in more than 100 years, customers of the Anderson Cottonwood Irrigation District are without water. Action News Now reporter Ryan Caney shows us how the district got to this point. Chris Sawaga and her family have owned this property off of Highway 273 for over 70 years. Normally, it's a lush green paradise for her horses, but now there's nothing here but dead grass. ACID Board President Brenda Haynes says this is a culmination of the statewide drought and state policies that sent water to other areas of the state. Haynes says the district was only given around 1,400 acres square feet of water per month, despite having water rights that date back to 1914. And we've all heard that pre-1914 water rights are, are bulletproof. Well, maybe in the old days they were, but things have changed way back in 1914. We didn't have 40 million people living in California. Haynes says the board had three options after getting their water allocation. They could have done nothing, they could have run the water through the canal, even though it wouldn't get past Reading city limits, or they could sell the water. The board decided to sell the water to neighboring cities and districts for around $7 million, leaving customers frustrated. This is decimating people's lives. People are losing their animals. People have, they raise hay and whatnot. They've lost their livelihood. Water is a serious issue. And when you take our water away from us, we're going to be in big trouble. And we are in big trouble. The district told me it doesn't know what it will do with the money at the moment and is still deciding on how it can best be spent. In Reading, Ryan Caney, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Board members want to remind people they are also customers of the district and are working with legal counsel to find any options for relief for everyone.